Hello all, welcome again to Graphiculator YouTube channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to create this awesome double exposure effect in Adobe Photoshop. Ok, let's start. I have opened this model layer and city layer in Photoshop. These are the two layers I am going to use for this edit. First, I need to remove the background from this model layer. Select the model layer, and take the quick selection tool from the toolbox. And make a selection around the model just like this. Then press Shift plus F6 to increase the feather of the selection. I will make feather 1 pixel. Then going back to the layer palette and click on the Create Layer Mask icon to create a layer mask. Now I need to refine the mask a little bit. Click on the layer mask and go to the Properties panel. And click on the Refine Mask button. I will set View Mode to On Black. And then increase the opacity slightly. Then I need to refine the selection of the hair. Tick on the Smart Radius and then increase the radius slightly. Now take the Smart Refine Edge Brush and paint around the edge of the hair. OK, now we have refined mask around the hair. Click OK. Then I will turn on the city layer. Now I need to mask the city layer to the model layer underneath. But first, we need to scale and place this city layer in correct position. I will reduce the opacity of the city layer so we can see through the model layer. Now move and scale city layer to a place which you think looks good. Press Ctrl T or Command T on Mac to activate transform controls. OK, once you're done, press Enter or Return key to apply the transform. I will increase the opacity back to 100%. Then go back to the model layer. Hold down the Control key, Command key on Mac and click on the layer mask thumbnail of the model layer. It will activate a selection around the layer mask. Then select the city layer. Click on the layer mask icon to create a layer mask. Now you can see the city layer has now been masked to the model layer. Then I'm going to create a solid color layer underneath the model layer. Select the model layer and click on the new adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layer palette. Then click on the solid color. Now pick the sky color of the city layer for this solid color layer. Then I will move this solid color layer underneath the model layer. Now I need to create a duplicate layer of this city layer. Select the city layer and press Ctrl J or Command J to create duplicate layer. Then right click on the layer mask thumbnail of the new layer and click on delete layer mask to remove the current layer mask. Then go back to the layer mask icon at the bottom of the layer palette. Hold down the Alt key, Option key on Mac. And click on the mask icon to create a black mask of the second city layer which we created. Then go to the toolbox and take the brush tool. Then make sure that foreground color set to white. And select the layer mask of second city layer. Then paint over the head area of the model to reveal the top parts of the buildings. Change foreground color to black to remove the unnecessary parts. Then select the layer mask of the first city layer. Then go back to the brush settings. And I will select Large Soft Edge Brush. Make sure brush opacity is around 50%. Foreground color need to be black. And paint over the face of the model to reveal the detail of the face. I will paint over the shoulder area also to reveal the detail of the model layer. OK. Finally, I need to add a gradient map to the model layer to change the color tone. Select the model layer in layer palette. Click on the new adjust inventory layer icon, and click on gradient map. Then right click on the gradient map layer and click on create clipping mask. It will create a clipping mask to the model layer underneath the gradient map layer. And we can edit the gradient color on the properties panel here. Click here to edit the gradient. 
I will replace Y color with a light orange color to match with the sunset color of the city image. And then I will change black color to a dark orange color. I just go back to the layer mask of the first city layer, and take the brush tool back and paint over the bottom area of the model layer to reveal more details of the model layer. Okay, we are done. Here we have this double exposure image. Hope you have learned something new in this tutorial. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Please like this video and share this if you think this is useful. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel to watch more videos like this. And stay connected with us in our social media. Thank you for watching this. See you again in next video.